Hi everyone, welcome back on Learn With Me. My name is RT and today in the English class we are going to read Standard 5 English Chapter 32, Helen Keller. Chapter 32, Helen Keller. This is the story of a child who became completely deaf and blind before she had learned to talk. An inspiring account of courage, strength, determination and hard work. The story of Helen Keller conveys the message, when the going gets tough, the tough gets going. She was able to go to school and to college and to live a full and happy life. Helen was born in 1880 in a small town in the southern USA. At 18 months when Helen was just beginning to talk, she became terribly ill, terribly ill seriously. This affected her sight and hearing too. As she was unable to hear, she could not talk. She became blind too. She would shake her head for no and a nod for yes. A pull meant come and a push go. She could say very little like this and she depended entirely on other people. Helen had an active mind and a clever brain and wanted to do and say everything any other child would. She used to get into terrible tempers when she could not explain what she meant or understand what others wanted. Tempers is fits of anger. When Helen was nearly seven, Anne Sullivan came to teach her and look after her. This clever and devoted teacher changed Helen's life. Anne Sullivan herself had been nearly blind and had been at a school for blind people. There Anne Sullivan had learnt the finger spelling method. Finger spelling method is the representation of letters of alphabet through fingers and hands. Anne Sullivan felt sure that this was the only way to talk to Helen and teach her to say what she wanted. Helen had become very sensitive to the feel of things, much more sensitive than most people are. She could soon tell the difference between the feel of one letter and another. Anne Sullivan gave Helen a doll and when she gave it, she spelled the letters D-O-L-L onto Helen's hand. She did this with the names of other things, such as C-A-K cake and M-U-G mug. Helen obediently spelled them back, but she did not understand what it all meant, and soon she grew bored and unhappy. She would not try any more. And poor Anne Sullivan did not know what to do next. One day, Anne Sullivan took Helen outside to the water pump. As the water spilled into Helen's mug and overflowed on her hand, Miss Sullivan spelled W-A-T-E-R on her hand. Helen's face lit up. That is, she became very happy. She understood that Water was the name of this cold, wet stuff and it came to her in a flash that everything has a name. Touching her little sister, she spelt B-A-B-Y which was one of the words Miss Sullivan had shown her. Helen became so excited, she could hardly control herself. At last, words began to have a meaning for her. She then learned the names of actions as well as things, sit, stand, run, walk, and then descriptions of things and actions, hard, soft, quickly, slowly. Now that she had started to learn, Helen with a quick brain and good memory learned very fast indeed. She and her beloved teacher Anne Sullivan could have long conversations. Wherever they went, Miss Sullivan described things to her and told her what people were saying. Helen soon learned to write on a special frame 
with ridges to keep the line straight and later she learned to type. Ridges is a line where two upward slopes meet. She began to read braille books. Braille is a system that uses combinations of raised dots to spell letters and numbers. It is used by people who are blind or partially sighted to help them read and write. Helen quickly learned to talk and to listen to people speaking by putting her sensitive fingers on their lips and throats. All this was hard work needing endless patience by both pupil and teacher and long practice. Patience is quality of being able to stay calm and not get angry. Helen could talk, read and write and even learnt to speak French and German. Now Helen was determined to go to university and take a degree. When she was 20, she sat for the entrance examination of Radcliffe College, one of the best colleges in America. The papers were set in braille and she typed her answers. Of course, she could not read what she had written. She had to take a chance that she had made no mistakes. She had no difficulty in passing the examination and entering Radcliffe. Anne Sullivan was with Helen all through her time at the university. In the end, this girl who at seven had lived in a dark world, unable to hear or speak, won high university honours. Throughout her life, she helped other blind people to find courage. She travelled all over the world, inspiring everyone by her example. Helen Keller lived to a ripe old age of 88. Ripe is advanced. She passed away in 1968. Passed away is died. Helen Keller was and is an inspiration to the whole world. She showed what she could achieve through courage, patience and struggle. This is all for today dear students. Goodbye.